CAF Colonel Brad Pilgrim. As a kid, Brad Pilgrim spent lots of time around rare aircraft and legendary aviators. Pilgrim was just 11 years old in 1984 when he took his first Warbird ride in aviation icon Howard Pardue's TBM Avenger. That same year, he became an associate member of the CAF. Young Pilgrim spent hours alongside CAF colonels, listening to their stories while they worked on old airplanes. These occasions would shape his future and solidify his connections and reverence for the organization. In the early 1990s, Pilgrim joined the U.S. Air Force. He was a loadmaster on the Lockheed C-130 Hercules and the C-17 Globemaster III. While in the Air Force, Pilgrim started his family and continued the tradition of growing up in aviation. Pilgrim spent 20 years in the service before retiring as chief loadmaster and flight evaluator for the C-17 schoolhouse at Altus Air Force Base. Newly retired, Pilgrim settled his family in the Pacific Northwest. He worked as a warehouse manager at Northwest Helicopters and served on the board of directors at the Olympic Flight Museum in Washington State. When an opportunity to return to Texas came up, Pilgrim relocated his family and was able to work first at the CAF, then at the Cavanaugh Flight Museum. Having been around aircraft of all types and ages, he says that his favorite airplane is the B-29 Super Fortress, Fifi. There is an extensive list of ways he has supported the preservation and operation of Fifi throughout the years. He is an aircraft sponsor of the B-29, a member of the B-29-B-24 squadron, and toured with the airplane for many years. He has worked on nearly every square inch of Fifi, from the nose to the tail. He was heavily involved in Fifi's re-engine project from 2006 to 2010 and spent seven years as one of Fifi's flight engineers. Even after she dumped gallons of oil on his head and sometimes stubbornly refused to fly, his affinity for Fifi remains unchanged. Pilgrim wanted his family to have the same opportunity to grow up around old airplanes that he did. His family, including his daughter Jordan, would often tour with the aircraft and all go out to the hangar to help with Fifi. Pilgrim once said, quote, in today's busy rush, it's easy for a family to get so busy that they forget to take time to spend together. But volunteering with the B-29 allows us to do just that. Sometimes we all go out as a family and clean the airplanes as we talk about our day. To me, that is the most important part of all. Brad's longtime involvement with the organization makes him a credible authority on the commemorative Air Force, especially of the B-29 Fifi. Since childhood, Pilgrim collected and researched CAF history. He has always accumulated CAF magazines, air show programs, and even receipts from aircraft purchases that date back to the earliest days of the CAF. He has given dozens of interviews and been a resource for magazine articles, books, TV shows, and podcasts relaying the rich history of the CAF. He will be the first to clarify that he is not a military historian, but a CAF historian. His interest is mainly in the organization's past and warbirds after their military career. In 2017, Pilgrim was named the B-29-B-24 Squadron's historian and, shortly after, named the official historian of the Commemorative Air Force. In 2020, the CAF began digitally recording the histories of the aircraft in the fleet and the organization. Since then, Pilgrim has recorded hours of video discussing the important milestones in the CAF's history and highlighting the hard work, passion, and humor that created and sustained the organization for decades. His enthusiasm and affection for the organization, storytelling ability, and West Texas drawl captivates audiences. Brad has served on numerous boards and committees, including the American Air Power Heritage Flying Museum Board. He received the Above and Beyond Award, Silver Magnolia Blossom Award, and multiple individual and professional maintenance awards. Brad Pilgrim has spent a lifetime promoting the Commemorative Air Force's mission, and he continues to lend his skills and share his appreciation of the CAF with others, so the next generation can develop the same love for warbirds and have the same amazing opportunities he has.